Hi guys, welcome to Andy Styles Boutique. I am Angela, welcome to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you're a repeat viewer, welcome back. If you're a subscriber, mwah, thank you guys so much for rocking with us. We love you. Thank you for hanging out with us. So I am working on a Juneteenth sign, wood sign, and I decided to come on and let you guys watch i love uh interacting with my youtube family you guys inspire me to be great you inspire me so much that i like to share things with you so what i'm going to do is design this sign and i'm not really sure what we're going to do with it yet or how we're going to design it but i did print this out and i have some confetti and things like that but what i want to do um is tell you how to do this so this is a 12 by 12 circle it's birch wood it was i purchased this one at hobby lobby so that this is a hobby lobby wood sign and you'll need this uh spray paint of your choice i painted this one uh red yellow green to represent the colors of juneteenth but i have another one here that is spray painted white and then I have a plain birch wood this is what they look like and I have another one that I painted yellow and so on and so forth lots of lots and lots of possibilities when you're working with wood so I painted it two coats of paint then I went through and I sealed it with a uh, sealer that um let me grab one so i use something like this this gloss protective enamel that's what i normally use to seal it after i painted it and let it dry all right so let me go ahead and weed this while we are talking about materials so the materials you'll need is um you'll need design of your choice and uh i'm just using this Oracle vinyl right here and guys look see that it says www.p65warnings.california.gov warning cancer and reproductive harm I never saw that before I just saw that tonight I was weeding and uh, I saw that and I was like oh my gosh wonder you know it, it was made me pause so you know i'm nosy so i'm gonna go to the website and i'm gonna see what they're talking about i, I want to know I, I just need to know uh although i'm not a uh, of childbearing age anymore i still want to know what what that's all about um so yeah i and urkel is a very popular brand of uh vinyl very popular so anyway there's that um other materials you'll need is some scissors to cut your design down if you need to you'll need a weeding pin this is the pin pin that i'm using and i first learned of this pin pin from mr crafty pants if you have not watched Mr. Crafty Pants, please go do so. He is amazing. He makes using Cricut look like a piece of cake, you know, a cakewalk or whatever. So uh, he is um, how I found out about the pin pin. He is also how I found out about the um, vinyl that I use, StarCraft vinyl that I absolutely am in love with. So anyway... This is um, my sign, and I printed out some confetti as well in different colors. So we're going to build this sign now. Of course, in my head, it was one thing. So let's see how it's going to translate to the wood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play music because I am going to be designing and creating this in my head, so I'm not going to chatter away. Um, so, yeah. All right, I'm going to find something that I like. Here's some music here. 
Um, yeah, let's get started. You're gonna need some tape also, guys. Transfer tape. And a weaving tool.
Celebrate Juneteenth, 1865, Freedom. For those of you that aren't familiar with Juneteenth, it is the uh, celebration that um, African Americans, we um, celebrate this day because not all slaves were free or didn't realize that they were free until June 19th, 1865. Um, so we celebrate this day because that's when everybody all Af all enslaved people in America were free. Now, there is a flag for Juneteenth and the flag was um originally red, white, and blue, and that flag was a symbol uh it was created in 1997 and it was a symbol to say that all uh, we were all Americans and that we were all free. Well, the flag was then recreated to incorporate, maybe it wasn't recreated, but I know that it was redone to incorporate the colors that you see here. The red, of course, stands for the bloodshed. Uh, the yellow is for the wealth that was native, uh, well, the yellow and green, uh, gold, you know, the, uh, Africa was, um, it is rich in gold, the continent, and then um, the green was for the prosperity. So there's a little history lesson on Juneteenth, but I act, absolutely love this sign. Um, yeah, so on the back, I have some little paint um, markings and things like that, but to avoid that, what you can do is tape the back with painter's tape, um, the other thing I was going to tell you is when I was putting these letters on, you saw that some of them were coming up. Well, the reason I use this gloss is because that helps it to adhere better uh, when I use, when I'm putting it on with transfer tape, but you uh, do have to let this sit. So I, I normally go back in and burnish it with this. And as you can see, it is pretty much adhering or adhere to it. But I let it sit overnight. This is permanent vinyl and it's not, uh, it is supposed to be, you know, the life of the party. It's supposed to not um, peel up or anything like that. Um, so yeah, this is my sign. This is how I create my wood signs. And I hope that you guys are inspired regardless of what you celebrate. I hope that you are inspired to go out and create something yourself. Thank you for watching me work. Happy crafting.